Police are expected to release new details, and I believe they just did, in the deaths of two people killed at a home on Dr. Thomas Avenue in Happy Hills. They're identified by family members as the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Their bodies were found in their burned home Wednesday night. Nicolette Schleisman is live at Mobile Police Headquarters. So what's new in this case today, Nicolette? Well, Cherish, we literally just talked to the chief within the past minute or so. We wrapped up there and he did tell us this is now an active homicide investigation. He tells us at least one of the two, they believe it was Mr. Lewis that was um, killed via a gunshot wound. They are still investigating everything, so they don't have a lot of details at this time um, because Again, this is still a very active investigation. They haven't got the second uh, cause of death for the other person involved, uh, believed to be Mrs. Lewis in this case. They, again, still investigating the cause of the fire. Um, and they tell us that they are following up on every single lead. The chief says that there are a lot of people that are trying to claim responsibility for that, and it's kind of muddying the waters, but they are making sure that they follow every single lead so that they can find out who is responsible for this. They've been investigating this as a homicide since it started, just so that they could preserve all of the evidence in case it did turn into be a homicide, which it did today. The family has identified the victims as Tony and Leela Lewis. Their grandson, Honeycomb Brazy, has been very vocal about his grandparents' deaths on Instagram, saying they got, quote, caught up in his mess. Again, police are investigating. They aren't leaving anything uh, out of possibility, out of the realm of possibility. Uh, family members tell us that a neighbor saw a car drive up and shoot into the Lewis's home before the fire started Wednesday evening. Police still looking for the person responsible, and they're asking anyone with information to contact them and let them know what's going on in this investigation. We'll, of course, keep you updated right here on WKRG News 5 and WKRG.com. Reporting live at Mobile Police Headquarters, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. Sad and